Apple just announced watchOS 9, its next major software update for the Apple Watch. The announcement came during Apple's Worldwide Developers Conference on Monday, where it also revealed a new MacBook Air, a new MacBook Pro, its new M2 chip, and features coming to the iPhone, iPad, and Mac. As expected, many of the Apple Watch's updates are focused on health and fitness, but there are a few other changes coming too. Here's a look at some of the most important new features. First, let's talk about sleep tracking. The Apple Watch has been kind of lacking as a sleep tracker compared to other devices from Fitbit, Aura, and Samsung, but that's changing in watchOS 9. Apple is adding support for sleep stages with the new software, which means the watch will be able to see when you're in REM, core, or deep sleep. And this is really the missing piece of the puzzle that the Apple Watch didn't have when it comes to sleep tracking. The watch can already tell how much time you spent asleep and your respiratory rate during sleep, but this new feature should provide an even more complete picture of your sleep quality. It's still not quite as comprehensive as some other fitness trackers that also give you a sleep score in addition to measuring your stages of sleep, but it's definitely an improvement that's gonna help Apple get up to speed with these other fitness trackers. Apple is also bringing some interesting features for runners in watchOS 9. Runners will get new metrics that tell them about their form, such as stride length, ground contact time, and vertical oscillation. There are also new tools to help runners stay on pace to complete their goals or beat their last result. Apple is also making some other general improvements to the workout app, such as support for heart rate zones and interval workouts. And Apple is adding more health and wellness features in watchOS 9, including improvements to its feature for detecting atrial fibrillation. The update will allow people who are diagnosed with AFib to see how often their heart rhythm is showing signs of AFib. The idea is to provide more context so that users can get a deeper understanding of their condition. There's also going to be a new way to track medications, vitamins, and supplements in watchOS 9. You'll be able to create custom schedules for each medication and receive an alert if there's a potential interaction to be aware of. It's not surprising to see Apple add more health and wellness functionality to the Apple Watch. The company has been really investing in health over the last few years, and we're seeing this in the whole general direction Apple has taken with its smartwatch. In 2020, for example, Apple added a blood oxygen sensor to the Apple Watch for the first time. Now, reports from Bloomberg and the Wall Street Journal say that a temperature sensor could be the next major health feature we see in the Series 8 later this year. It's great to see Apple add more software features in the meantime to fill in some of the gaps that it was missing compared to other devices. Plus, the new running stats could make the Apple Watch more competitive with dedicated running watches like those made by Garmin. Although health and fitness was the biggest focus, Apple is also adding some other updates with watchOS 9, including four new watch faces, more keyboard languages, and a redesigned dock. Apple will release watchOS 9 in the fall, but there will be a public beta next month. The update will be available for the Apple Watch Series 4 and higher when it launches. So what do you think of watchOS 9? Let us know in the comments. And check out the links in the description to read more about watchOS 9 and other announcements from WWDC. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.